Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict. We're back out here uh, in our hometown, basically. Andrew was kind enough to come back today with his 86 Bullnose. In our last YouTube video on his truck, we got a lot of comments of people wanting to know about the motor and things he had done to it and stuff like that. So he's uh, he's come back out to give us a underhood shot this time and kind of give us some more rundown on the mods and things like that. And maybe we can even talk him into taking everybody for a a ride along inside the truck. So obviously your YouTube video last time was quite popular because not many people work on these trucks. Yeah, so uh, like in the last video, I think we talked, it, you know, it had a 6.9 in it and I had a factory turbo on it. And there wasn't nothing wrong with that engine. I just got kind of bored with it. And uh, Justin and R&D had started coming up and started developing parts. And I was like, well, hell, let's build a motor. So I started with a, uh, it's a 7.3 IDI turbo, factory turbo block. Okay. I started with a short block. What did it come out uh, of? 90, a late 93 um, IDI turbo factory truck. And I started with the factory model uh, because they had a slightly bigger connecting rod in them uh, and bigger wrist pins. It's actually, they're pretty close to size um, as a uh, 7.3 power stroke forge bottom end would be. Okay. They're pretty similar in size. I think they're still a little bit smaller. So. It was a little bit stouter of an engine to begin with. So I started with that um, <clears throat> and it got a full bare block rebuild, okay? I mean, it. I had a uh, machine shop. They sleeved all eight cylinders because they were bad about pinholing the blocks, all that good stuff. Yep, all the cavitation. Right, right. And so uh, the, the block was done and they hot tanked it and all that good stuff. I had the crank polished and measured out. It's a standard crank. Uh, it's got a... Uh, R&D main girdle in it, because uh, I was just gonna go kind of all out on it, really. Might as well, just, while you're that far into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, all new bearings and all that stuff. So it's got an R&D main girdle. It's got an R&D stage one cam in it. Um, I had him, I had Justin at R&D cut 40 thousandths off of the pistons to drop the compression, because uh, these were like 21 and a half to one compression stock. And uh, with how much boost we were gonna run, it was a, it was kind of one of those things, is it gonna hold up with that high compression? Right, right. So he cut the pistons and uh, ceramic coated them for a little higher exhaust temperature, yeah. um, uh, you know. So if you got stupid with it, it would- It would, it would so maybe sustain it, yeah, hopefully, yeah. you know. And it does get pretty hot on the pyro, uh, cause it's not intercooled, but uh, on this, mine is. Um, I got new uh, forward cylinder heads, I actually still offered them. And we put Inconel exhaust mm -hmm. valves in them and uh, Comp 910 valve springs, and we, uh, I shimmed the, uh, the valve springs up about 30 thousandths to get a little more spring pressure out of them, because again, the boost and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, we're going know? all out. Uh, and then obviously head studs, but they're ARP 2000 head studs, um, just factory head gaskets, everything like that. Um, Typically we find that the factory head gasket, as long as you've got good clamping pressure on it, right. it usually stays together just as well as all the other fancy right, crap exactly. that's, that's, that's out, out there. there right. Yeah. So they're, I think, yeah, they're like Felpros or whatever. And, uh, but I torqued them studs to 150 and um, hadn't had a problem yet. And I've seen about 42 pounds of boost on it. That was max, I and mean, I was with it wide open. Well, you know? a while ago you were on here polishing and stuff, <laughs> and you told me you've got about 22,000 miles or so on this yeah, truck so yeah. far, so. Yeah, it's got 22,000 on it, and I have no major issues. And that was the other thing. On the pistons, we put uh, the uh, their total seal gapless second rings. And uh, I worked with Justin on that, on how to, so uh, uh, we file fit the rings, the end gaps on the rings and everything. And so it's, the, it doesn't have nearly me, nearly the amount of blow by that like a factory IDI right. would, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause they, they were famous for like, yeah, yeah, blow by out the ass. Um, so there's that as far as the internals, you know, um, it's got R and D's basically his T4 turbo kit. Yeah. Um, and it's a Borg Warner 369. Uh, and like I said, it's not intercooled. So, so it's a pretty good size charger on this yeah. motor. Yeah, it is. It, I mean, it really for, is. for what the motor is, I mean, yeah. if it's on a power stroke, it's kind of one of the smaller ones, but on, right. on this motor, it's, it's... It was his like stage three, I believe, Yeah. you know? And uh, he built me a stainless uh, intake plenum, I guess you would. Yeah, like an accumulator. Right, right. Because I think he actually blew out an aluminum one, one time on his motor. So I had him build that stainless one and he did it for me. Um, it's got his, it's a 150cc DB4 injection pump from R&D. Um, and uh, it runs pretty good, man. What, I mean. What what injectors are you running in? Oh, they're R&D stage ones. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did do my own e-fuel on it. It's, it's basically, it's just a Walbro pump, uh, a couple of filter bases, uh, cat filter bases, cat filters. I wonder and, where uh, you got those from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's, and then it's going through a, a Holly regulator. 
I gotta reg I'll regulate the pressure at about 10 PSI on the inlet of, the, of that DB4. Well, I appreciate it yes, a bunch, sir. man. I appreciate you. Seth, come over here and take some pictures of this.